Welcome to Upload Partners, where we explore digital tools that help us connect. This is my buddy Dan. Hey. I'm Justin. We are super excited that you're here. So one of the tools we want to explore today. Wait, you talk. You already talk. All right. Today we're going to take a look at the BirdDog P200. Yeah. Um, it is one of their PTZ cameras. That's a 1080p camera. We got a couple of them in the studio today. Let's take a look at them. Got them right here. We just realized um, there's not a ton of content out there on these guys. Justin, do you want to talk about how, how we found these? Yeah, I, I honestly have been thinking about starting a company that does a bunch of streaming work. But uh, as we were trying to figure out where to make an investment, on cameras, we realized that PTZs have this huge advantage of being able to have the least amount of people with a lot of functionality. And so we started not just looking at PTZs, we started looking for NDI based PTZ cameras. And that's a bunch of nerdy stuff. That's a bunch of nerdy stuff. And all that really means is that you can get a lot of functionality out of one simple connection through Ethernet. And when yeah. you start looking at it that way, you should stumble upon how Bird Dog is crushing it in that space. So we got our nice little ribbon. Thanks to our friend Mike behind the <laughs> camera for tying Thanks the ribbon Mike. on there. All right, what knife are you using to open this thing? All right, today we've got the Benchmade Bug Out Black Edition. Let's see if it cuts. Will it cut? Yes. I hope so. They sharpened it. Right off the bat, first impressions on the box. I, I really like the design on it. I think that they're they're green. Black and green works yeah. real well for me. They also do sell a white version if your yeah. application would require. So right off the bat, there's some cables. I don't know what these do. <laughs> they're for PTZ controls. Yeah. For traditional PTZ controls. On the top, we also got some power stuff, which you don't need this. If you don't need that. If you're running power, power over Ethernet. Ethernet. And it also comes with a nice little remote. Um, but this will come in handy if you are using this just from an HDMI, yeah, with an HDMI. So if you already invested in baseband technology, that's the or HDMI, you are, this is gonna work for you as well. So this, this is not exclusively an NDI only solution. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna need some help. Two is, maybe we need three. A few minutes later. Well, this it's, is an authentic opening, I'll tell you that. It's really in there. That's what she said. <laughs> Let's take you to the back of this guy on the IO for this. So you got a couple of uh, ethernets on the back here, and then you got that NDI power over ethernet port, and then the HDMI, and, and it has an SDI too, and an SVI. And they all work simultaneously, according to my understanding and reading, but we're gonna be testing some of this stuff out for you. We just wanna do a first impressions and initial unboxing. What I am most looking forward to is more the NDI standard and one power cable, one video cable. If you're brand new to NDI, what you need to know is uh, you're gonna figure out two things if you go look this stuff up. One, NDI was developed by a company called New Tech, but what Bird Dog did is put this thing on fire by saying, hey, we're gonna take this software-based solution and we're gonna put it on an actual chip and then put it inside of things like cameras. And so this is uh, one of the reasons I'm super excited about this is not only does it bring power over ethernet, it does video over ethernet, it does tally over ethernet, it does communications over ethernet, and you can do everything on that one cable. Yeah. So that's what I'm really looking forward to. The one thing I know we're definitely gonna be sacrificing is that you're not gonna get that sweet, sweet bokeh that you get when you're using a DSLR camera. What's really exciting is there's quite a bit of uh, control available through the Bird Dogs application itself. There's a ton of control yeah. uh, over like different settings for like gamma and for uh, you know, full color correction. There's like the full color correction wheels in there. We are looking forward to throwing this out in the month of uh, this upcoming month yeah. and doing a bunch of live streaming with it and some other stuff. And so we are gonna come back and make sure you guys get to see how we actually feel about it um, after using it in the field. Justin, I got one more thing for you. Go for it. I've got one more One thing. more thing. One more thing. But we do have one more thing. <laughs> for all of the PTZ cameras that we're gonna use, yes. we really need this. Yeah. So this is just the PTZ keyboard. Um, allows us to control each of the cameras simultaneously, uh, as well as do some of that like color correction stuff uh, off of this camera, off of this keyboard. The last thing is, this is what's really big, I think, on their controller is that they thought about the actual connection mechanisms. And what I just mean by that is, you don't have to buy another piece of hardware. When you buy this, you're getting a NDI based switch with uh, power over ethernet. You can bring everything here. And from here, you get your power, your video, everything we've been talking about. Super excited, not a lot of this out uh, there. And again, not a lot on this. And so if you've been looking for someone who's gonna talk more about 
PTZ, NDI, from a bird dog standpoint, we're glad you're hanging out with us today. And these are just our initial unboxing and impressions, and it looks awesome. Thanks so much for finding time to hang out with us. If you've been looking for anything around bird dog, NDI, we're gonna be doing more of this stuff. Just our initial uh, impressions, yeah. Thanks.